Is this on your list of drivers to check out for 2021? Let's find out if it should be. Hi guys, I'm Hannah Holden and I'm the equipment editor here at National Club Golfer. Now if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications too. Today we're going to be checking out the Strixon ZX7 driver. Now can you believe I've never hit a Strixon driver before? I can't believe it either. Now in terms of specs, I've got this in a 10.5 head which is typically what I would use. I've also got the hazardous smoke black shaft which is in my gamer, but this is a 6.0 in terms of stiffness so it's slightly stiffer than mine, I usually use a 5.5 and it's also got 3.5 torque so a little bit lower than what I'm used to, but in terms of weight this is a 60 gram so that is the same as mine. So all in all not too far off what my normal setup would be. So I'm really interested to see just how this performs. Over the ball I really like the shaping of this. It's very classic in terms of shape and styling. I would say the head's probably slightly deeper than some of the newer models we see, but I do actually really like that. On the top of the crown we've got a bit of that red paint coming in from the sole, which I really like, and we've also got kind of a little bit of a texture going on, on the top. I would say if anything the sign of dot in the middle in terms of alignment doesn't really help you out that much, but other than that I really like the way this looks. but to be honest the flight was still pretty good. I can definitely feel that the overall setup here is a bit stiffer than what I'm used to in my gamer. That felt nice. If anything these are probably coming out a little bit low in terms of trajectory though. distances have been extremely consistent with this so far. That was probably my best strike but I lost it quite a long way to the right. I wonder if that's something to do with the fact that this shaft's a little bit stiff. Feels really nice when you strike it good. Two, three, five again. I swear like half my shots have been pitching exactly the same distance. It's kind of insane. Okay, in terms of setup, I could definitely tell this is a bit longer than I'm used to and also that the shaft was a bit stiffer. But then in terms of performance, I don't think it affected it too much. I was actually really impressed with the carry distance here. I averaged out at 235 yards, which is definitely up with some of the longest drivers I've tested this year. But probably the most impressive thing was just how consistent the distance was with this. I mean, in the middle of my testing, I hit five shots and four of them all pitched 235 yards, which is kind of insane. Now the front to back dispersion was really good. Across all of my shots, it was about six yards, apart from the one shot I hit the furthest, which flew 240, which was five yards further than any other shot. I mean, I wish I could hit it 240 every time. In terms of other variables, they were all pretty good too. The spin was down at 2200, which is probably slightly low, but definitely could be tweaked if we had a different shaft in this. I was pretty happy with the height as well, although I would say it was slightly inconsistent, but again, I think that comes down to the shaft makeup here. Overall, probably the worst thing was my dispersion. My worst shot to the left was just under 30 yards left and then to the right was about 15 yards. Now, you wouldn't miss that many fairways with this, but it definitely is probably a bit wider than I would like. I think a lot of that does come down to the shaft setup though and me feeling like I kind of had to quite force it with this. Overall, a pretty impressive performance from the ZX7 here. I kind of wish I'd tried a Strix and Driver sooner, if I'm honest. Right, should we take it out on the course then? Oh wait, we can't. Oh wait, we can. Now today we're at the world renowned Broken Tree Golf Course. Yeah, I've never heard of it either, but it was just one of the default golf courses on here. We've got a pretty tight opening tee shot. If we're taking the 235 carry that I seem to get a lot, I've got to squeeze this between two fairway bunkers, so this could be interesting. If I'm totally honest, I'm not even sure what the line is. I need to cut over that bunker there. I'm on the car path. <laughs> it was a pretty solid 
solid strike though. I really liked the ball flying. I think I just got the line a bit wrong. Right, I've got like 300 to the green still. And in fact, there's a cross bunker that I need to hit it like a solid 250 to carry. So I'm just gonna hit driver again. Oh, I hit that a bit high off the face. Not sure it's gonna make it. <laughs> I seem to have managed to weave it in between the two bunkers though somehow. I swear I hit this so much straighter on the course than I did on the bridge. Ugh, this is really making me want to play golf right now. Anyway, we've got two 10 yards, it's a par three, so I'm just gonna try and hit a chippy driver and see what happens. I think I ever tried to hit a driver shorter than I can. I mean, I think it might be good for distance, but it's definitely right. Mr. Bunker. Oh. <laughs> I'm actually hit on the green as well. Stop. Just 16 yards. I think putting with a driver might be taking it slightly too far. So let's skip to the next. Oh my god, how pure does this hole look? I mean, it'd be terrifying if you had a card in your hand, but it just looks so good. Right, basically just a standard straight drive needed here because it's pretty tight and I'm not going to reach the dog leg. Oh, that is a lost ball. is the shot that I would expect to get with this shaft and I mean at least I didn't pull it left into the water. Okay so after some testing on the range and a few holes at the famous broken tree links it's pretty safe to say this drive has performed really well. I think I would definitely say it's performed best in terms of distance I was really impressed with the yardage I got out of this in terms of dispersion, this probably was a little bit of an area that could be improved, but then again I think with the right shaft set up in this that could be drastically improved. Overall, I've really enjoyed testing this, and I can't wait to get out on the course with this later in the year. Right, that's all for today. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below, or drop me a line on Twitter or Instagram. I've also reviewed the Strix and ZX5 and ZX7 irons, so make sure to check that out too. As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications too. And if you're after more golf content, head to the National Club Golfer social media channels for more.